everyone. Welcome to the Eric Kamadeka Show. I'm Joe Wamba. Joined now with Eric Kamadeka, head coach of the outdoor track and field teams. Coach, you guys traveled up to Widener, competed in two of the three-day events, and a very solid performance, especially on the distance team. Yeah, Friday night kicked off very well for us. Langston Gash, Sam Ricoli, and Ryan Siegel all had great performances. Langston qualified for ECACs, broke the school record with his 15.05 into 5K. And even Sam Ricoli came out and had a great race, breaking the old school record as well, running 15.27 high. And then Ryan comes back in the 10K, cold, wet night, but it was perfect for these guys. So he comes back, breaks the school record by over a minute, I believe. So it's a really good way to kick off the weekend. It seems like almost every time we're talking to you, you're breaking some sort of school record or qualifying for ECACs, sometimes NCAAs. Is that a point of emphasis, or is that just what's going to happen out of the growth of the to the program. Yeah, I think you, you're right there. It's just the natural process of the growth of our program. You know, now I'm in my third full year here, mm-hmm. so you're really starting to see some of that transition of happening in our program. And I just the type of athletes we get here, we're just able to do that from a yearly basis. Is new records, higher performances. It's exciting. Yeah, the type of athletes we get are, you know, one of them, a special one, is Devontae Williams, who closed a, about a 7 or 10 meter gap to yeah. win a 4 by 100 it was, it was a stadium stopper for sure um, we're sitting there watching and you know he's we're down a little bit in a 4 by one but there's a reason why we have Devonte on the anchor you know he's our hammer but yeah he's down 10 meters and we're just watching like man all right we're not gonna run as well as we thought and then all of a sudden the stadium's just quiet as and it was almost like it was freeze like everyone was freeze frame besides him and he just breaks that 10 meter gap gets to the top puts us in a position to win the event and put us in top 10 in the country in the four by one right now he definitely can throw the hammer down and win some events for you guys another person that's great at throwing hammers is lauren yeah uh she we were just joking around you know say hey you know how far are you gonna throw today we talked about maybe a meter or two here pr you know we've talked about qualifying for pen relays and she goes out and throws 40 over 48 meters uh which is very close to qualifying for pen relay so it's just mm-hmm. really exciting to see her do that and then you know coach Day's doing an awesome job with those throwers because danica and ari both pr throwing uh just shy of 40 meters as well and those have to be close if not school records oh yeah you know definitely lauren's performance is a is a school record and La- and Danica and Ari are very shy of qualifying for ECACs as well. Well, Coach, it's been a, a you know great growth and progress made in this short portion of the season so far, and we're all excited about what's coming next, and you know can't wait for the next events. Now let's just hope for warmer weather, and uh, we'll be rocking and rolling for the rest of the year. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time, and good luck uh, where you're going next. Great, thank you. He's Eric Kamadeka. I'm Joe Wamba. This has been the Eric Kamadeka Show.